the Brave or Yusha franchise. Despite nowadays being mainly associated with the King of the Braves, Gao Gaigar, has quite an extensive history behind it. To delve into that, however, we have to go all the way back to 1990. Enter Japanese toy company Takara, which recently concluded the Generation 1 installment of the widely beloved Transformers franchise. Following a steep decline in its popularity that led to the cancellation of the OVA series Transformers Zone after only one episode, Takara struck a cooperative deal with the animation studio Sunrise, which was best known for animating the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise at the time in hopes of developing a brand new franchise and a set of toy lines to succeed it. Little did they know that what would become the Brave franchise would also play a major role in the reintroduction of the super robot genre to the mainstream during the 90s, encouraging the creation of many series such as Mobile Fighter G Gundam and Macro 7 among others. The mechanical designs for the Braves were handled by none other than Studio Sunrise's Kunio Okawara, known for designing mecha used in the Gundam franchise as well as lots of other super robot and real robot series. Most of the Brave series follow the same standard formula of having a main hero robot be backed up by one or two support combiner teams and later getting one or two combiner partners which allow the hero to upgrade to more powerful forms. A considerable amount of Brave series characters, especially early on, had their designs derived from Takara's Generation 1 Transformers designs, especially from the cancelled Transformers Zone OVA and Transformers Battlestar's Return of Convoy which never even ended up receiving its own animated adaptation. The recycling of designs is most prominent in Brave X Kaiser, the first in the franchise, where the enemies referred to as the Geisters were actually reconstructions of the first generation Dinobot toys. Despite all the similar or reused designs within the two franchises, they have no connection to one another. Well, except for some little nods and homages here and there. There are 8 original entries in the Brave franchise, released from years 1990 to 1997 each ranging from 46 to 49 episodes in length. They are all set in separate timelines from each other, so a newcomer could start with whichever one seems the most appealing to them. Despite each series taking place in its own continuity, they do share a similar story structure and themes, such as super robots teaming up with humans in order to defend the Earth against some kind of extraterrestrial threat. This human-robot friendship would become a recurring theme, which many believe established the initial appeal of the Brave series, while also differentiating it from the Transformers in its portrayal. Another common theme among many of the Brave series would be the use of technology, the main robots always being fewer in number than the enemies they have to face, but being far more technologically advanced, while also making use of the resources provided on Earth. Most of the early Braves were actual energy beings which just so happened to possess technology and turn into giant robots, something akin to Ultraman. Aside from that, all Brave series use a fair amount of stock footage, some of which can get absolutely insane. From a storytelling perspective, all of them start out fairly episodic and slowly devolve into more developed story arcs as they go along. There is also almost always some kind of rival character that ends up joining the heroes and helping them combat a greater foe in the latter part of the story. Join me next time, when we'll unravel what each of the Braves is all about, starting of course with none other than the Brave X Kaiser. <laughs>